Well hey there folks and welcome back to the Hop House. Another video. We're flying with them now. Uh, well welcome back once again my name's Eddie. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. If you just discovered this wonderful channel, uh, we're brand new. We're just going with the flow. So feel free to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Hands, face, space. You know what I mean. So the last couple of videos we did were on music because uh, as we say this is the Hop House. So what do we like here at the Hop House? We like hoppy beer and we like house music. Yeah, pick which order you prefer those in. So the last couple, I think I've got one uploading as we speak, uh, internet allowing. It's time for another beer review. Yes, yes it is. We've done a couple already on the channel. And what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna be straight up with you. This is brand spanking new. I just thought of it, it just came to me. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and review a beer I've never had before. Never tried it. Never heard of it, don't know what it is. So whatever it is, I'll be as surprised as you are. So I'm gonna call these, uh, if it's a beer I've had for the first time, I'm gonna call it a virgin beer review. Cause you know, virgin, like a virgin, touched for the very first time, ooh, uh, missus. So this is a virgin beer review. Uh, here we are, I decided to put the camera at a different angle of the kitchen. Ta-da, hope the lighting and the sound's okay and you can't hear my boiler, we're in too much in the background. Right, all that being said, let's get on with the beer review, shall we? Because that's what you're here for. So this one is a brand new one, as I say, Virgin Beer Review. Never had this before, never heard of it, never heard of the brewery. Get my words out, brewery before. So this is, uh, here we go, hopefully the uh, camera will zoom in enough for you to see it. Yeah, you can see that. It is Andwell Brewing Company, and it's a bottle of their gold muddler. 330 milliliter bottle. It's only Diddy, it's only little. Oh, it's cute. Oh, I want to put it in my pocket. It is a Blondale, and it's from, as I say, Andwell Brewing Company, based in Hampshire. So on the south coast, down south. 3.9% ABV. Um, so it's a lighter ale, it's a Blondale. Probably similar, definitely strength-wise, similar to the first video that we did, which was the Osset Brewery Yorkshire Blonde, a beer that I know a lot about and I grew up with. So maybe this is the Southern equivalent. Who knows? I want to do a shout out to Andy, who uh, who gave me this bottle. Uh, he said it's probably more something I'd drink than he would because he likes his darker, sort of stoutier stuff. So thanks, Andy. You know who you are. Tell very much. Cheers, pal. Um, I'm guessing... As it's a smaller bottle, and it does look quite cute, maybe it came in some sort of a little box of beers. I know you can probably see uh, just over there, there it is. It's a reflection of my Christmas tree. Sparkling away the other half, put it up the other day. Um, so it is coming to that time of year now. I remember this time last year, I, uh, I actually got a craft beer advent calendar, and it was full of little bottles like this. So I'm not sure if it came in one of them sort of gift pack, I think, calendar type things. Certainly looks uh, like it did. So yeah, that's the bottle. We're gonna put it into this ickle pint glass, well, sorry, half pint glass here. Uh, and this is, again, I don't know if the camera will pick it up um, due to the lighting. No, I don't think it will. But it is the Shropshire, uh, Shroptoberfest, Shrop Shroptoberfest. Uh, it was Battlefield Brewery, but I think they've gone under now. Such a shame, did some good beers as well. Uh, now this is a uh, little mini beer festival that they have in Quarry Park in Shrewsbury, in Shropshire, where I'm from, uh, every October. And uh, they have loads of real ale breweries there. They have their own little stalls throughout this massive tent. And there's a comedy tent and music, umpire bands, as it is Oktoberfest. So I thought I'd use this little uh, half pint glass. All right then, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the bottle, put it in the glass, because we're already four minutes in. So get cracking shall we so we'll go ahead and stick it on in this little pint glass or some of it in this little half pint glass hopefully it won't spill it all over the floor and hopefully we'll see what we get now that's not a bad pour actually I'm not pleased with that There's still some left in the bottle save a bit for later look it looks like a little stuck I stand really far away, it's that it looks like to you, I'm drinking one of the big steins from Germany. It's not, it's only a half pint glass. Right then, so here it is, in all its glory. 
very very see-through very very fizzy looking actually carbonated very fizzy looking um, when I opened up the bottle you could really really hear it fizz don't know if you can pick up on that look at me putting the glass up to the screen could you hear this um, so yeah that was a blonde ale would I call it a blonde ale in the light let's put it to this light mm. Yeah, blondie golden spells. Yeah, fits the bill. Uh, it's very the clarity is good, very see through, uh, and it's retaining its head quite well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it a whiff and see what we can sniff. Catch phrase right there. Give it a whiff, see what we can sniff. Um, as I have mentioned previously on other videos, my sense of smell is not the greatest, so I might pick up on certain smells. I might not. I know some. People smell all sorts of wonders in beer. I don't. I usually, I usually like it or I don't. So, bottoms up. Shouldn't have said bottoms up yet till I drink it, should I? Rookie mistake. I am smelling something. I'm just trying to think what I'm picking up. It's more like a wheaty, malty smell. Smells. Does smell sort of sweet actually. It actually smells not dissimilar to the Osset Brewery Yorkshire Blonde, the very first uh, beer that I reviewed on the channel. So uh, it is a similar in strength and probably style. So bottoms up. Down the hatchet and all that. Hmm. Ooh. That's that's really quite refreshing. That's really nice. That is that's Bob on for a first beer of the day or. Oh, first beer of the evening should I say that is bloody lovely it's bloody lovely the auction would say a boiler's finally shut up as well right okay so let's just jig it about a bit in the glass as you can see it's keeping its head quite well um, in professional terms that's called lacing so yeah it's jigging about quite well Keeping its head like that. Um, in terms of flavour, the aftertaste, the aftertaste that's holding there is almost like a lagery sort of bitterness when you get the bitterness on the back end of a lager. That's the aftertaste I'm getting. The main taste, I'm not going to say sweetness. Um, yeah, it's very light like a lager, I have to say, but it's not gassy and fizzy like a lager is, which is what I don't like about lagers. In previous beer videos, I did say that I get too gassed up when I drink lagers, um, so I don't tend to drink a lot of them these days. There is a bit of sweetness there. You can taste the malt. It definitely taste the malt coming through, but it's like a really refreshing malt. It's not overkill on the malt. I don't like overkill on the malt. Sometimes overkill on the malt, now hear me out when I say this, because I'm probably talking out my rear end, but sometimes overkill on the malt to me is almost sort of salty malty, where it's a bit like, oh, it's just not right. This doesn't have that. There is hops there, because I can taste them, but they are um, more uh, sort of, I'd say a European-y lager type hop. That's what it seems to me. It's, it's very light and refreshing. Um, tad bit of sweetness but not much the Osset uh, Blonde the Yorkshire Blonde was a lot sweeter than this but it's very refreshing very drinkable um, I'm really enjoying it that for a first beer of the day is cracking and well Brewing Company Gold Muddler put the rest in the uh... oh yeah look at it it's uh, getting the head back oh crikey stick a flake in that 
Right, let's have a look, see what it says on the bottle. Oh, there's a bit on the bottle to see actually, and this light's terrible for it. Actually, let me stick it under there, see if we can see anything. So, the gold muddler, I, mean, I am going to have to go over here. I'm not being antisocial. I'm just going under here to actually read it. So the gold muddler takes its name from a fishing fly used for luring trout. Interesting. Uh, our blonde ales use the finest floor, sorry, standby. Blonde ale uses the finest floor malted English barley combined with European and American aroma hops to produce a crisp, refreshing golden blonde beer. Doesn't actually name the hops on it. Fine. Um, Andwell Brewing Company it is Andwell Hook. So that was the name of the film. No, it is. It's a town uh, sort of down the south coast area. Hook, Hampshire. Um, oh, it's, got, it's got an RG postcode. So that, to me, would say it's more sort of Reading way. And well Brewing Company, Gold Muddler, 330ml bottle, not sure if it's available on its own or part of a multi-pack. Um, it does look like, just because of the size of the bottle, it'll be part of a multi-pack. That is a lovely example of like a Session Blonde Ale. Um, sort of best bitterine strength, 3.9%, uh, but really light, really refreshing. Um, and it's lovely as a first beer of the day, so yeah. I like that. I like that enough. Uh, in my rating system, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Definitely, definitely would quite easily drink this again. So, cheers all. Ooh. Nothing better than to start the day with a really nice, refreshing ale. And on that note, ciao for now, people. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you again on the next one. Ooh.